right, so it's around 6 p.m. now and it's sunset. Me and a friend is going down to the city to shoot some content for Fat Moose. I have some really great ideas that I wanted to try out and haven't really had the opportunity yet to have a model to actually model, but one of my friends agreed to, to help me out. So we're yeah. gonna go down there and try some new stuff. Uh, so turn it up in the whip. Yeah. I'm burning something to this. Uncle Twitch, Sherman Clump in this shit. Busting words with my cousin, no struggle, no nothing to miss. Okay, so we came up to the location, which is just a apartment complex. But this is where we wanted to film some, and we took some photos. Not film here, but take some photos. Where Espion, my friend, was sitting there, and then we did some cool effects. And then also we got another really cool shot, which uh, I think turned out really good. And then lastly, we just tried out this, which is like the magic arm, um, which I think turned out pretty cool, but I still have to work a lot with it because I haven't really tried it out properly and not really sure how it works the best. So I still need to figure that out. But uh, yeah, we're definitely going to try to play around with the clams and the magic arm. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. And then uh, I can show you guys when I'm done editing it to like show what we actually did. Remember when she told me I should travel more? Mm. Now she message come home whenever I'm abroad. Let's have it right. Alrighty. So we came home from the shoot and I have edited the photos. So we had two different photos that I wanted to do. The first one, which was the big idea and was actually the reason why I went down there is, is this photo, which the whole theme is like chaos. I'm gonna put it up on the screen as well now so you guys can, can see the, the photo in full size. But as I told you guys out there, we was using the staircase as the location and where he was actually sitting. So the way that we actually did this was we took one photo uh, and I couldn't use a trap because it's not big enough. So I had to like hold my camera super still. One photo, which was super sharp with him sitting in the middle, my friend. And then we took some long exposures, which was around 0.6 of a second and a second. I think we ended up using 0.6 of a second because then you still get the feeling of a person walking, but it's blurry. And then we just had him walk around himself where he was sitting and then i just merged everything together aligned the photos in photoshop and then i did a lot of masking because i, I know that there's probably a better way to do it but i had to mask every single uh, photo in there and then the second photo again very simple frame uh, and i really like the street look of it put it up on the screen as well now but then the only thing I did to this was obviously edit with the presets that I'm using at the moment, which is more of a raw film look. And then also I did some motion blur. So if you look in the photo, you can see that there's like lines going and that's basically just me copying Espion, the subject, and then just putting the motion blur all the way up. So it's very big and bigger than him. And then I just did three different directions. The ones to the side is at 50% opacity and then in the, the one in the middle is at 100%. And I just think it's, to be honest, a really cool look and it's just a simple frame, but, or a simple photo, but in my opinion, just turned out super cool. Should be drinking all in, I'm already happy, nigga. Fuck, I'm a gangsta. All right, so we've come out to a location here where uh, Today, I'm gonna help Michael shoot for one of his clients. He's shooting Japanese cars for a garage that only does Japanese cars. And right now, I'm not sure exactly what model we have here. Toyota Chaser. Toyota Chaser, uh, I'm told. And right now, we're just getting photos of it. But after this, we're going for a little drive. And then we have this, which uh, mounts onto my car. Very sturdy, so my camera's not going anywhere. And then we're gonna attach my camera to that while Michael is driving the other car and then hopefully we can get some nice rolling shots. Okay, so we've come out to another location now out here in the forest and Michael just drove down to turn around the car. Uh, I can hear his coming now, so yeah, I'm gonna turn around and film. But yeah, it's really a 
beautiful car, first of all, and looks really sick. It's like when you see it in the movies, as I told you before, but also it sounds really sick when he's shifting gears and everything. But it's not even the final product. This is like the before videos, and then they're going to do some work in the garage to it. So it's going to be even cooler. But uh, yeah, we're getting some really nice shots, and it definitely works well with the suction mounts here. So uh, yeah, overall, really fun to film, and uh, going to try some different things with these suction mounts as well, so we're going to get some different angles. Maybe you've seen it in the video now, but I, I don't know. But yeah, really, really sick car. I can't go wrong, Chana. Mm. I can't go wrong, Chana. Make things right. You know what that's like when your heart's on ice. Doubled in price. So you can probably guess by now that I got myself a new Apple Watch. You're probably wondering because if you paid attention in the other videos or just noticed things, I already have an Apple Watch and it's already the Ultra one. So why did I have to get a new one? First of all, I took my Apple Watch into a sauna. They can't really handle that much heat. They can handle a lot of heat, but not 90, 90 degrees Celsius. So it still works and I can still use it for like texting and everything that a normal Apple Watch can. But like the measurement of my health and the pulse and everything like what I'm actually using it for, for training and everything there, doesn't work anymore. And as I'm currently training up for the Ironman, not totally because I don't have a bike yet, but because I'm swimming a lot and working out a lot and running a lot, and I'm actually using it to track all of the data that I need, I needed one and I got a really good opportunity to buy one really, really cheap. So I took the opportunity and got the whole new Apple Watch Ultra version 2, second generation, and then with the new like black coating, titanium coating, I think it is. Um, so yeah, 